This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. This program creates two lists. Fancy. Use the remove item and insert. Wow, they're throwing out a lot of new code at us. Remove item and insert item commands to fix the following problems. Remove all the numbers from the animal list. Why? What? Oh, because that one. Well, oh, okay. Add all the missing months to the month to the months list in the correct position. All right. Remember that index start at zero. Yes. So cat is at index zero right now. Let's hit run and see what happens. Okay. Oh, and it's always handy to know if you do this, it will show you your indexes. Zero, yada, yada, yada. So I see a problem right here with number 11 being at index five. All right. So animals, yep. Add code to remove the other numbers from the list. Oh, wait. Okay. And look how they did this. Remove item animals. So what's the list? Animals. And what are they removing? Two. This is a trap, though, because it's not that they're removing the number two by writing two here. It's the index of two, right? And I'll show you what happens if I put one here. Reset run. If I put one there, two's still here, and I just remove dog. So this is telling it the index, not the um, variable, not what it actually is. That is evil. Um, I kind of like it. All right, so remove. All right, so we need to remove the other two numbers. Once we remove two, keep in mind that list just updated. So let's reset run once. Uh, once we remove two, what's the new index of 11? Because you don't want to count right now. That will mess you up. Well, if two is gone, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So then we're going to want to remove index five. Okay. And then I can't even see them all. Let's run. Now what's left? 13. So we can count out, but let's see. And you really want to do this after you remove them because the index shifts up. So eight. If I try to do this at first, 13 would have been at 10. And if I removed everything at index 10, it would have messed things up because it first would remove two and then suddenly 13 would be at index nine and something else is at 10. So you don't want to do that. So index. And so once again, animals is my list and index eight. And there we go. All right. So what's up next? We got to get add all the missing months to the months list in the correct order. All right. What months do we got? Yeah. Okay. And so insert item months three April. Please don't break out a calendar. <laughs> uh, all right. So January, February, March, April, right? So zero, one, two, three for April, April, May, June, July, August. Well, August, we need September, October, November. All right, so September should come first. And if you don't want to count them all, you can do this. But I just want to walk through their indices with you. Okay, so index one, two, three. I mean, yikes, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so six, seven, but we're going to add in one, right? So it will be zero, one, two. Then we have three for April that we add, four for May, five for June, six for July, seven for August, and eight for September, right? Everything's back, just one. So insert into months at index eight, September. Yep, and then we need at index 10, November, because we start at zero, Right now, December is at 10. Nope, we want to insert November at 10. And December will be at 11 because we start at 0 for indexes. Oh, not that. Insert. So insert into the months list at index 10. And then console log. Boom. Tricky, tricky. Indexes become second nature once you get the hang of it. And we're getting there. Let's keep going.